there anything else here? No. Eh, ambush them. Human trespassers, sound alarm. Hey, hey, alarm, kill human. Okay, just mess these guys up. Okay, so. Well, if we find another place, we are going to help Will, but for now, we just painted two fences. Couldn't find any other. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to swap that thing because we could make. We, took, we, we could do a lot of damage to a lot of people, but we can't right now. Okay, that gator is gone. Ow! Abby! Okay. I'm going to... Attack and just shoot that guy. We're gonna keep working on that guy over there. Gone. Nice. And you are gonna flap slap that guy. Wow! Gabby is gone. Okay. Check that guy. Check that guy again. Gone. Okay, good. And now we just shoot this guy. Done. Sorry, Gabby. Excellent. Okay, so this is where Charles is supposed to be. So we're going to afford, presumably for hammering, on terrible gator metals. We got the gators over here just doing weird stuff. Let's see over here. Investigate. The barrel says chloroform, and so does the smell leaking out of it. Woof, dump it out. See where you're going for, but sure, filling the place with chloroform fumes would knock out all of the guards. But it will also knock you out, and the water you're standing in is almost knee deep. You can double check your to-do list if you want, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have drown scheduled for today. Oh, look at this! Huh? 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 Yeah. Okay. okay, we're gonna fish. We're gonna get chloroform fishes. Fish in a sec. I don't know why it's the chloroform. I mean, the fishes in the fish in a sack thing, but who knows? Who knows these things? Okay, we got everything. The items on the shelf are all too nasty for you to look at, let alone touch. See if there are any shoes in it. Wife, uh, white loafers. Oh, new shoes. Okay. And you see, we're just walking stiff. A loose ra a length of rusty chain. Okay. I'm not sure how long this chain is a quest item. Okay. Well. Uh, we're gonna just fight everybody here. I don't give a... Oh, I forgot to swap the thing again. Okay. Sacks of violence. Mess that guy up. Shoot that guy. Gone. You mess this guy up. Shoot that guy. Okay, the guy with the weird eyes of that. Blam. Hey! The oh, crap! Okay. Sneeze damage. Sneeze damage. Blam. Okay, good. You got a lot of stuff. Excellent. Okay, anything here? No. 
Oh, is this Charles? Hey, it's Charles. He's in a cage. Is a cage with Charles in it. Yes, talk to him. Charles! Shh, they'll heal you. All right. Boy, am I glad to see you, kid. Thought I was a goner. You're the advent adventuresome type and all. You know how to pick a lock? Only with the appropriate shape key. You'll have to get it off their leader then. I think his room's down the other end of the hall. Okay, I'll be back. Don't worry. So that's Charles. We found Charles. Nice. One of those fridges. Uh, you know, the ones hanging in on big rusty chains. What's inside? The chain wasn't attached well, uh, very well. The whole thing came loose. You got an item. A refrigerator on the chain. What is this? This is so weird. Oh, look at this, we got gator cheese. Maybe you can give this to the rat. Hmm. This swamp mushroom does not appear in any mycology text because mycology famously refused to get their shoes wet. But we don't know what this does. Mm. Kitchen. Nothing. Nasty pipe sticking out of the wall. It smells terrible. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. There was something over here. This must be the gator man's dinner bell. Ring it. It would be nonsensical and cruel to uh, ring the dinner bell without making dinner first. Nonsensical and cruel is the gator man's standard of behavior. Let's not sing to the bell. I could make dinner. No? Okay. Okay, so... We're gonna switch to the thing. Creepy music box. Okay. Was there anything here? We already saw that. Okay. Fight them. Okay. First of all, sacks of violence. Second of all, the thing. Whoa! I got. Oh crap! I took damage as well! Okay, that's. That's the bull crap. That is absolutely the bull crap. I didn't know I would take damage as well. Okay, we're switching back. Uh, okay, let's just shoot that guy. I mean, like poison that guy. Let's shoot this guy. Flap slap. Ow! That hurt a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Kill that guy over there. I said kill. Thank you. And now we shoot the other guy. That's it. Okay. Excellent. Now we switch back this. Because not a good idea. Okay, so anything else around here? We're just walking stupid. Okay, so I... Here, go away. Okay, sorry, sorry, bro. Gator Man states in the book is as bad as everything else about them. Yeah, investigate. You got an item. Making the most of your stabbings. Interesting. Grants a combat skill. Knife in the dark. Read. There are some diagrams in the back of the show. Uh, painful places to stab the people. Upgrade. Okay. Nice. Okay, so... This hole leads down to a massive underground chamber. Attach the chain you found. Okay. Anything else here? The least comfortable chair in the world. And there's a puppetorium. This is the real seat of power. Flush it. Always do the courtesy flush, people. Always. Because of the poop. Okay, pro property private? Scam? What the hell? What are these things? You don't know what this object is, but wait, it's uh, got blood all over it. It's an altar. Yeah, look at this strange construction and there's like moving things. Where did he go? Hmm. 
There's a pedestal. I'm gonna touch it. This door over here? Yep. Serious, go away. Okay. Pedestal. Touch it. Okay, it activated. Yeah, we got some weird stuff over here. Try to fix this with the mysticality. Realigning them. You move the blocks around relative to each other until they start moving in a more satisfying pattern, assuming that you're the person who thinks a smooth circular pattern is more satisfying than a juddery, spark spewed chaos. Suddenly, everybody's that kind of person. This has to be right. Yeah, surely. You see? Smooth. Ow, ow, ow! Good grief! You got, uh, could not figure, uh, figure, fix it if you knew it was going to be so ungrateful. You got a perk, Ziggurat power. Sheesh. You got a Ziggurat power, but is it, is it a perk? No, uh, it's a, a perk. You can use three additional combat items per round. Nice. That's the Ziggurat power. Okay, let's touch this. And it's on. A warning! Kill you! Okay. Okay, we can touch that to activate that. Okay. This is so weird. Is this some kind of ancient temple guardian or something? Shooting out a bunch of tightly focused beams of light that science doesn't yet have a name for, but which you can probably assume you don't want touching you. We're going to avoid the beams with our moxie. You see? We're doing like the, the mission impossible thing. Just flopping around actually. Yeah. Nice. Your words, I destroy. Goliath, kill! Okay, we got a Goliath. Okay, the Goliath killed the guy. You see, this is what happens when you don't give proper instructions. Search the bottle. Curse key. Okay, this is the key Charles mentioned. Yeah. You poke around in the mulch until you find something that looks more or less like an old iron key, except kind of blurry. Scissors and twitchings in your hands as you pick it up. Uh, you look at that hulking Goliath at the end of the hall. There doesn't seem to be anything beyond it, and it looks like it could squash you in an instant. Best go back and unlock Charles. You make your way quickly back up the room where you plan was being held. Okay. Unlock the cage. You found the key? Think so. It's kind of weird though. Yeah, I don't like the look of that at all. But dollars donuts that the artifact we're looking for. Couldn't possibly be the key to this random gator man cage in the middle of nowhere then, could it? Well, might have some kind of key related powers. Normally I advise against using it, but I don't see any other way out of this mess. Okay, here it goes. The key shifts unpleasantly in your hand, buzzing and clicking through a jerky sideshow of shapes as though searching for the particular slice of higher dimensional object that will fit this lock. When it finally finds the right one, it jerks forward in your hand and twists. The lock clicks open. Your hands feel numb. Thanks, Fuzzy. I thought for sure my bacon was well and truly fried. Don't mention it, Charles. Just get the heck out of this dump. With no further cause to stick around, apart from any unfinished side quests you may have, you can always come back for them later. You escort Charles back to town. If we only have the like the, the fences thing. Fuzzy, you found the cursed artifact and brought Charles back home safely. Can't express how grateful I am. I don't know what we do without him. Thank you so much. Oh, it was, uh, it was nothing, but you know. Yeah, I get it. Don't forget to uncurse that thing before you go to bed. This key seems like it has no power to open any lock. Could be extremely useful. Would it be all that bad if I didn't uncurse it? Well, I'm not gonna drive you into the machine and force you to do it, but yes, I don't actually know what would happen if you don't uncurse it, but I assume it would be pretty bad. Look, you uncurse all of the other things, right? Yes. Great, so go ahead and curse this one too, okay? Better safe than sorry. All right. Why do I have a feeling Jessica is going to betray us? Also, where is Charles now? There's a message over here. 
Hold on T. Okay. Salutary greetationing the person who has activated this telephonic mechanism and with whom you are now conversating is known as Don Toblerone. I thought your boss said you had to keep it brief now. We devised and then agreed upon an arrangement deemed satisfactory in every to both parties. Let me guess, you're paying the phone bill. Your guessing prowess is uh, preternationally efficacious. Uh, that was they tell me. Got another job? Once again, the particularity of the undertakement is being held in escrow. We'll be transmitting to you orally by our colleague, who, gee, Steve, got it. Bye. And curse. He jumps in the roof uh, of the dome, sticks there, shaking and keening. That's the sound kings make, you know, keening. Against the metal. The lights in the store whine, flicker, then cut out completely. Dang it! Wait it out. Only when the power is out, uh, does the king calm down. Give up the most uh, obvious part of itself to the machine, drop back down in our lap. Light returns to the store. Fix it. We had a spare light bulb under the cat. What? You get an item. Uncursed key. The key occurs lingers in the machine. Okay. So, we have a fancy mustache now. I have assembled everybody as you asked, detective. The victim's wife and two men who were present in the passenger car at the time. I confess the truth of this murder continues to elude me. But no doubt you are soon enlightened with your great powers of deduction and observation. May I inspect the body again? No, that would be fair. It wouldn't be fair to the other passengers who haven't had a look yet. I see. But I will tell you what I know. At 11:13 a.m., I'm gonna write this down. At 11:13 a.m., 11:13 a.m., the professor dropped dead in his chair after sitting down with his wife for a cup of tea. So, professor. Professor, wife, cup of tea. At that time, Mrs. Ryukyokensky, so Mrs. Ryukyokensky, Kenshi, Mr. Andretti, Andretti, were the only other two passengers present in this car. Mr. Perry returned later. Okay, Mr. Perry. Later. Okay. The rest I leave you to deduce, detective. Okay, so we are... Or rot. This is the thing in the Orient Express, I guess. Okay, this guy is flabbergasted by the situation. I'm guessing uh, Yume Ryo Kenshi, the victim's wife. What? Oh, okay, so that's the wife. This is Ryo Kenshi. So, the wife is Ryo Kenshi. Interrogate. The widow Ryo Kenshi dabs her eyes with a handkerchief embroidered with the words Morning Rags and Wipes. A moment's privacy, please, detective. I had nothing to do with my husband's death. No reason to want him gone. He was a kind man, not a rich one. Everything he made, he spent on the roulette tables. He owned over 700 of them. That's the largest collection in the world. We were traveling to your Belinda, so the Major could give my husband the key to the city. But that won't happen now. Detective mode. You deduce that you should make some observations. Sometimes the simpler answer is the correct one. She says she had no reason to wish her husband dead, but the chemical stain in her cuticles and the fingerprints on the window above, which she opened to dispose of the murder weapon, tell the tale more truly. But the nose reveals even more. Observe the zigzag pattern of the medical cleft below the nostrils. It's called Petrus Philum, and it's a rare genetic condition she shares with Martin Perry, her son. Okay, this is the son. Okay, so, son. Okay, she killed him. Nicole Andretti, a businessman. I told you I've never heard of this man. I know of Berger, Berger Worth College, of course. It's an excellent institution. They didn't know he was a professor there. No, come on, let's not delay our journey further. Traveling with 19 cases of exotic rubber to make new and exciting wheels at the factory. Detective mode. 
You observe closely to see what you can deduce. Exotic brother, huh? No doubt from the jungles of Almodovar, whose local brand of nicotine is smell on his collar. Of course, the rubber plants of Almodovar then just yield material for bouncy tires, but an odorless poison, lethal when drunk in hot tea. Why, why would this man uh, abet the murder of a stranger? I suspect the answer lies in the resume of the, uh, on the table, and the name printed on it. Martin Perry. Okay, so this guy had a resume with, uh, in the table. Okay, Martin Perry, a youth interrogated. The young man is absently manly, but methodically disassembling and reassembling the fountain pen. It is as, uh, it's as I said, yes, the man was a professor of mine at Burgerworth College, and yes, he gave me a C and a D. There's no reason to kill a man. Well, wasn't this guy the, the, the son? Weird. But there's no reason to kill a man, wouldn't you agree? Besides, at the time of his death, I was in the lavatory trying to figure out all the bits and pieces do. A perfect alibi, wouldn't you agree? Detective mode! He's right, a mere CND are no reason to kill one professor. But is that the whole story? Observe how the boy tinkers with the fountain pen and the train lavatory. He fancies himself a mechanic. But he wouldn't get a foot in the door of that profession if his CND stood for car duns. Nobody would be able to hire him. Unless the professor who awarded this ignominious grace died. That event, every grade he ever gave would be voided and this young man could take a plum job in car manufacture and start earning the big bucks. Mm. Okay, so I'm guessing everybody was in on this. Martin Perry is her son. I have solved this murder. The victim was poisoned. Poisoned by Martin Perry. No, it was poisoned by Hume. What? Please, all will become clear. By Hume with the an exotic poison from the Almodovar a rubber tree um, to avoid Martin Perry's car downs grade so he could make tires for Mr. Andretti yes Young Martin Perry dreams of working on cars. His fresh ideas excite Mr. Andretti, who runs a tire factory. But Master Perry's uh, professor has effectively blacklisted him as a car dance, unemployable. What to do? Kill the professor, of course. Avoid that odious grade. Here the plums because more wretched. Master Perry's mother, Yum Ryo Kenshi, marries the professor, arranges for him to be present on the very same train as Master Perry and Mr. Andretti who supplies an undetectable poison administered by Mrs. Rio Kenshi. Et voila! No more professor, no more car downs. Or is one thing or three conspirators did not count on me? Plus four plus. Not a shame, any parents here would do the same, as would any manager seeking new talent with interesting ideas about tires. If you call someone a car downs, you are branding them for life, and you are responsible for anything that happens next. How awful, the three of them in it together? Tell you what, detective, at the next stop, uh, they can all get out and take the bus. Sick business. Quite so. But a wonderful feeling, a thing to be possessed of great gifts, great powers of deduction and observation, and to use them. Here's another, a gift that is, called it a reward. Mysterious Aldry. Take the ring. You get an item. Mysterious Aldry. Nice ring, isn't it? Look what rewards accrue to the powerful. Uh, Look how the world itself reveals itself at your touch. I must take my leave. What? The curse remains unresolved?
What do you mean the curse remains of dissolve? Yes. What the hell? Touch it. The curse remains all unresolved? What the hell? Press on curse. Remove your geese. Hey Jessica, does this thing get rid of geese? The plural of goose is just geese. What do you have geese? No geese, like a curse thing. Oh well then probably. Okay, do it. You lost a perk, swamp geese. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, we were apparently we were cursed. That's good. So to do, go to bed. Okay, so the curse was not unresolved. We 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 correctly assessed the situation. That's good. So is there anything new here? This one is still condemned. Uh I wonder if Charles is back here. Hey bro, how are you? Do we have anything? No. Uh, the fru two frat guys you helped out earlier. Okay. Heck yeah, bro. If you got problems beating the cold, Q is the hobby for you. Wait, did I say hobby? I mean lifestyle. Standing next to warm, comforting fire does sound pretty good. Right, bro. Plus, while you're standing there, you can be queuing some burgs or weenies or whatever. Win win. Gosh. Okay, we got on. Nice. And everybody's just booging over here, you see? Okay, I guess we're good. Yeah. Charles is not here. Let me just, before we go to sleep, let me go to the hobo camp. Uh, one of the tin leases flagged it out. Hey, boss. Yes. Uh, Anarchist hardware. Neat. Thanks. Okay, so the shopkeeper, yeah. Uh, hiya. Business is booming. Uh, His Majesty's least interesting problem: titanium staple remover. Uh, do I have one of these quest item? Interesting. I want to get one of those. It is a quest item. Mechanical calculator reduces an enemy stab and HP by your muscle. Hmm. Lost bad. I wanna buy a couple. I have a lot of money here. Hmm. Everything normal here? Okay, I'm guessing we're good. Okay, so who else do we have? Oh, the barrel, yes. Uh, Veronica. Is this the guy? Let the rain clear up. Yes, it's nice. Okay, gosh. Hobo lady. How you liking the camp? Really nice. Everybody's real personable, even if most of them are a bit quirky. You need a poker game tonight? If I can, anyone with a full deck. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Uh, hope you made an abandoned grocery store slouching around, generally staring off into space. Talk to him. Hi there, Samuel. Mm. You'll be able to find any work? Mm. That's a shame. Yeah, right. How's the comp treating you? Mm. Yes, nice. Well, anyway, see you later. Rip, there's an old gravestone here. Pepperidge Dolphin. 1723-1728. What the hell? Pepperidge Dolphin died 150 years ago? Then, what was that man in the box car? It was a ghost. 
Hello again. Oh, did I startle you? Dreadfully sorry. Pepper Rich, you're alive. Well, yes. Well, uh, was that in question? The gravestone says, I see. Now, this is my great grandfather's. I was named after him. I decided to bring in uh, it with me as another souvenir, in addition to my father's padlock collection. This is the guy with the padlock. That makes sense, sure. So, look at this. He's just a little bit tilted because of you no know, habit. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you know any hobo code? Yeah, we got some hobo code. Nice. I could just there. Uh, we're just walking stupid. Uh, what do we have here? The shutter eye. This is where the people take a nap. Shouldn't probably mess around because people are napping here. Well, I get, at least I got the, the hobo code from this guy. Let's go talk to the king. Hey, bro. What can I do? Uh, so about the secret plans. You've been quite helpful. Uh, at fir you, at first a total stranger, had gone out of your way to help hobos when the other people of this country and even the government itself would not. This is the crux of the problem that hobos are looked down upon. We're not overlooked entirely. I seek to remedy this. Uh, okay. You're not leaving, not giving me more. Hands off the telephone. Okay, please. Let's just go back to Plunkett Street. Uh, you pass by the entrance of a dark alley. Several shadow spiders got a lot of it and attack you. Uh, I'm not sure which is more terrifying, being attacked by weird shadow spiders, or that they spread this far from where you originally encountered them. Definitely the first one. Okay, take your report for that. Okay, so, let's just go with the sack of spiders. Then, let's just... Uh... I'm going to... Do this. Nice. And then we're just gonna shoot it. Okay, that one is gone. Now future Fuzzy attacks. What we're going to do is we're gonna stab this. One. And then we're gonna shoot it. And it's gone. Now, Gabby's gonna flap slap. Shadow bite. Whoa, I hurt a little bit. Okay. Thank you for the moxie. That one is gone. And now, Kablamo. There you go. All of the shadow spiders, gone. Nice. Okay, so I guess we just go to sleep, right? Yep. Where's Murray? It's not here. Eh. Time to pick a fourth store. Right. First applicant is Tex Instruments. Guy from Texas selling instru musical instruments, I suppose. Second is Ye Old Chemical, some SIT science lady who wants to sell potions. And the last applicant is a bad plants. It doesn't say what they plan on selling, but I have to assume it's... No, it's advanced pants. I like the sound of an instrument store, hopefully. <laughs> Potion store would be useful. I go with the pen store. You know what? I don't think the pen store is going to be good. Or maybe... Uh, because they have some good pens, but maybe they sell accessories for pens. Okay. You said a plumber's tiny workbench up on your desk. Time to get to tiny work. You find a hook on one of the ceiling beams and hang up the new refrigerator. Cool. That was a hashtag pump. So you see, we got this over here, and we got this, we can grab this Gator main cola. Got a bunch of interesting stuff here. Oh, let's get some sleep. Okay, so, a disconcerting dream. Safe and warm, nice. Today's October 20, 1902. My diary, write today's entry. This diary is proper of Margaret Weird Eldritch writing, age 9. So I'm guessing this lady is the president. All others got to keep out under penalty of law. Dear diary, yesterday our dog Daisy died. Papa said it was bound to happen because she was older than me, which isn't old for a kid, but it's really old for a dog. 
We said we'll get a new dog soon, but it was sad anyway. So on birthday. At school today, the teacher asked uh, what we want to be when we grow up. I said I'll be good, because then I can make sure all the dogs live a long time and are always happy. Everyone laughed and the jerk Billy Gripsley said a girl can be God. So I said I'll be president instead because that's nearly as good. He said a girl can't be president either. Well, I'll show him. I'm gonna make all kinds of laws about being nice to dogs and I'll make being a jerk illegal too. So Billy Gripsley goes to jail, can eat nothing but bread and water forever. So there. Okay, so this is the president's origin story, you see. Our desk covered in Ocean City paperwork. Oh, this guy. Poindexter, you're in several bean counter. Oh, crap. It is an accountant. See what he wants this time. What is it, Terrence? Madam Controller, I immediately need your signature on these budget revisions. With this, the remains of funds currently allocated to municipal services will be redirected to your shadow presidential campaign and your other projects. That sounds a bit obvious. Rest assured, I am only sparing you the details, which you have made quite clear to me that you find intolerably boring. The transactions will be meticulously obscured through shell corporations, cutoffs, offshore accounts, and the like. Alright, good. Better not be skimming more off the top than I am willing to ignore. Certainly not, Madame Controller. Sign the documents. What is this? It's time to record the announcement for your candidacy for Shadow President. One of your PR lackeys, carefully, uh, carefully trained to be just and afraid of you enough to tell you what not to say in public. Interesting. Record the thing. All right. <clears throat> Attention, peons. Oh, jeez. Don't call them peons, ma'am. Uh, please try to, for less totalitarian tone generally. Right, right. So something. Uh, my fellow citizens. Good evening. I, Margaret Elder Thing. That's weird. The letters were all funny when you said your last name. Don't worry about it. Hereby announce my candidacy for shadow president. Vote for me or else. Uh, no, nope, sorry, ma'am, no. <laughs> Start off by explaining who you are. Most of them probably don't pay my attention to local politics. All right. In my role as Ocean City's controller, I have made my mission to um, eliminate waste and graft in the city's finance, make sure you all get exactly what you deserve, rub your sucker, you suckers blind for all your... Ne my, for my nefarious ends. No, eliminate waste and graft in the city's finance. I am proud to say that I have uh, been completely successful though, uh, through my program of shutting down needless, wasteful civic programs, there, thereby reserving your valuable taxpayer meat for all the things that actually matter, you see? Things like uh, family, prosperity, and freedom. Perfectly meaningless. Love it. Okay, then just a call to action on top of it all, and we're done. A vote for me is a vote for you. Vote for me, and I'll pay you a hundred meat. Vote for me, or I'll destroy you. A vote for me is a vote for you. Great, just perfect. Good, is that all? Yeah, we'll add all the legal, this message, blah, 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 campaign for Shadow Presence uh, stuff in post. Great, out of here. Uh, time travel, me, my guts itch. Yeah, we're time traveling here. Okay, who is this guy? This guy is a yokel living by the standards of his time. Time to grease the wheels. Major Burby, I presume? Yes, who are you? Here to speak to you about the Crystal Green Valley Dam project. I want you to make the dam bigger, much bigger, much more powerful. Here are some revised plans. A dam this large would flood the valley, displace hundreds of people. Besides, the dam is planned would provide a perfectly adequate amount of power. What would you need to make it bigger? How about a handshake agreement? What? I don't know who you are. You want me to agree to this on the basis of a handshake? Specifically, I'm offering you the chance to shake hands with the handle of this large briefcase filled with me. Hmm, well, yes, now yes. I think the new plan is quite viable. Good. So she went to the past to fix the thing in the, in the dam. You see, dam. This desk was carved from a single block of tedium, the raw elemental form of boring work. Why is there a sheep here? There's a sheep in your office. What the hell? Turns out that a lot of the president's time is spent on ceremony and bull crap that nobody cares or actually cares about. Case in point, pardoning the Thanksgiving turkey. None of your aides know what a turkey looks like, apparently. <laughs> Pardon the damn thing, anyway. 
your desk covered in policy documents, both benevolent and mal malign. There's a note here about going back in time and making the crystal dream damn bigger. Gotta get on that eventually. I already did. Okay, this is us, apparently. Your ridiculously court wizard isn't taking the situation seriously. Oh, make it clear to her what is required. This is not her. Give me a progress report on SIT things. Have you taken care of the problem yet? Oh, it's so dreary and unfestive there. All that math and science. It isn't holy or jolly. Scream your damn theme. Your entire job is dealing with magical issues. I won't have to do good in interloper messing around in the library. There's too much of at stake. Get it dealt with, or I'm giving Crimble's federal holiday status to the frigging groundhog. Gasp. You wouldn't. Go. Get out of my office. Six lockers. Some dumb jock kid you have to give a presidential fitness award to. Get it over with. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Uh, hi. Brilliant. All right. By the power invested me as shadow president, here's an award for being able to climb a rope faster than other kids, which is definitely important, and this is a great use of my time. Uh, thanks. Do I give a speech? Whatever. I'm out of here. You see, we're going to the different areas we've visited. Now we're in the big, uh, moist. This miserable beast will be him. President Strong, make rich. Yes, I know. And yes, you don't have to remind me of the terms of our two-work agreement. You're keeping your people mean and hungry? Yes, warriors mean, warriors hungry, good fighters. That's right, you are my ace in the hole, this stinking mud hole, if I need to use force. So you better stay on top of things if you want your make rich. Keep everybody worshipping at the Gator Shrine too, but for God's sake, don't mess with the stuff in the basement. If you screw anything up down there, I will turn you into wallets. Get me? Oh, I get. Good. So yeah, because there's, remember, there's like some old ancient civilization, like weird technology in the basement. Okay, what is this? You're turning like evil? Duty calls again. Get over with. More damn paperwork. How come nobody told me being president is all paperwork and talking to idiots? Sorry, ma'am, but the unwashed mass is going to be kept in line while we amass power. Yeah, yeah, fine. I hereby sign this order declaring July 12th National Bread and Circuses Day. All citizens get a complimentary dinner roll and a free turn on the nearest suitable trapeze. Uh, ma'am, I ain't sure that. Who cares? Let Coolidge deal with it. What's he even for anyway? This is all beneath me. Storm out. Because she is the shadow president. You see, we got like the shadows. Okay. Hellstrom, what does he want? Find out. All right, Hellstrom, let's hear your report. Everything is fine and dandy, ma'am. I don't really understand what this shadow energy stuff is uh, exactly, or why do you want so gold darn much of it? But the converters are spraying it out, slicker and grease mice out of the, like a out of a Gatling gun. With plenty of slag left over to press into those weird monsters you like. Um, finally, some good news. So you met the project deadline? Uh, you'll meet the project deadline? Yep, though we'll need to expand the oil drilling operations some more. Need you to sign this permit so we can expand into slots 210 and 240. Show sure, whatever. Wait. 210 to 40? That's a problem. My family's farm is 223. Uh, well, ma'am, if you're wanting your weird black juice, we gotta get the regular black juice out of the ground first. All right, fine. Sorry, Grandpa. Okay, so this... Is this is this the kid that went to... to the city that we met the... you know, the guy in the farm at the start of the, of the game? Weird. Enough of this. Whoa. Okay. Everything you want? Yes. Let's just get... I'm going to... Let's see. Combat items. Fancy combat items. Uh, deal 10 physical damage to all enemies. That's brutal. 
and a basic combat item. Uh, restore 10 HP and cure poison. Restore 10 HP and cure bleeding. Heal for 10 and cure on fire. Anything else? Mm. Restore 10 HP. Uh, and may pep pill energizing power green 2 AP. That's not bad. Another one. Another one. Another one. I don't know how many we can make of this. Oh, okay. Increase your physical armor by five. Restore 10 HP. Restore 10 HP. Restore 10 HP. Eh, I think we're good. Okay, let's get all of the things. Rub the crystal. We got the twinkling fingers. Say the heavy is the hand. Inherent stink. Go badgers. Pretend to fight it. Fairy fisticuff. We're getting all of the effects, you see? No effects from this one? No effects. Okay, I already got one. What about this? This little tentacle body. Okay, I guess we're good. We need to get the boom from Calliope, but I don't know. We got a sickle for, from a signal. Wait. We got a signal from a sickle. You know, the farming tool thing? It's over in Grey County somewhere. Mostly nothing but farms there. There's a store that's been open since forever. The owner's name is Jasper. He knows Murray. He'll probably help you out. Here's a map. You got an item? Gray County Placemat map. Location unlock. Jasper's feed and tech. This is a dinner placement. It literally has a map on the con uh, of the county uh, right in the middle of it. Oh, just impressed that you found a way to give me an actual map. While still also giving me a thing that is in the map. Head out. Okay. Is there anything else? Take the bus to Grey Country and talk to Murray's friends, Jasper. Well, where is my where is my uncle? I I rescued him. Murray. Murray. I mean Charles. I mean, Murray? Okay, she's pretty busy. Okay, let's just go real quick to the hobo cam, get the hot hands things. We get something, that's good. We got the effect, warm hands, nice. Uh, let's see. To-do list. View side quests. Uh, you painted two so far. Yeah, I, I have the the third the third you know like fence thing. Okay. Just gotta go to Crystal Dream Lake. And over here we need to go to the pet store. Uh, check the meat return slot and buy a soda. Continue the way. We've done that several times. Okay. Doddy. I'm sorry. Doddy. We get Doddy's boon. Okay, so. Perks. Effects. Doddy's boon is plus one moxie. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so. Grey County Chapter 5 Heartland of Darkness Okay This old man is fiddling intently with some kind of clockwork thingamajig Excuse me, huh? he looks at you up with the screen of someone who hasn't used to focusing on anything more than six inches away Can I ask you something? I don't get a lot of conversation practice, young man Last I knew, it was standard to lead off with an introduction. 
sorry, my name's Fuzi. Gwendolyn Luguti was your question. Let me think. What is it that we're, you're working on? Just a thing I've been keeping myself busy with, but does it do nothing on account of being being broken? Typically, that's what makes such a thing interesting, but I need a replacement part and there ain't much getting around that. What kind of part? Mainspring. Not usually a problem, but I need a clock, a counterclockwise one and a rare. Why not just flip a regular one outside down? With the mysticality. Well, now, aren't you clever? Say that flange there? Yeah, that's why. Maybe I can find you one. Side quest. Well, now, I ain't expected much, but if you manage that, I would appreciate it. There are a clock parts store nearby. I used to buy parts of a doll maker named Gilmore. That rat Hellstrom brought out the, uh, bought out this uh, morg uh, mortgage and his mortgage and foreclosed on him. Ran the fell off without even a buy or leave. At least I assume that's what happened. No idea where he went. House is still there, but it's really spooky now. Spooky? What happened? Well, nothing really. Just uh, when there was a fella that were acting like talking dolls are normal, they seem normal. When he ain't there, they don't. Anyway, it's down the road a spell. I feel like having a luxy location all up. The old Gilmore place. Remember, what I need is a counterclockwise mainspring. We're gonna write this down. Gonna write this down immediately in the clip. So what you need is a counterclockwise main spring. That's what we Okay. The weird thing is, I th I thought this game had four chapters, so I don't know. Wendelin continues to tinker with his device. Ask about Hellstrom. Who's that Hellstrom guy you mentioned? Ah, that fat guy, Oil Baron, has been going around buying up every patch of dirt big enough to drill well into. I want to talk about him. He'll get his soon enough. What's that mean? Tell me nothing. Just an old man talking old man crap. Mm -hmm. When the link continues to tinker with his device. Oh, I'll be seeing you. Let me see the map. So we got the Gilmore House, the BBB, the BBB, BBB. Proud to serve Red Cola. Bud's Burger Barn. Visit our zero grade county locations. Oh, because they are not there. woman with long silver hair and a sultry smile is chatting with a burly woman wearing an iPad. Long lash eyes sparkle at you behind her spectacles. Her voice is a pearl. Hey there, sweet things. I'm Lola. Lola Keen Mandip. Nice to meet you, Fuzzy Borth. Care to do a lady a little favor, Fuzzy? Uh, what kind of favor are you looking for? Desperately thirsty, but I need something specific. A glass of milk. Charming young Mel milkman Stan used to deliver the best milk in the county. He vanished mysteriously. Last anyone saw him, he was making a delivery to Drexel Place. You find him for me? Pretty please? Her eyelashes flutter as she makes puppy dog eyes at you. Sure, happy to help. I'm happy to get the side quest. New can count on you. Here, let me give you directions. Uh, bring me back a glass of milk once you find him. Okay, sweetheart? Okay, I'll leave it to me. So, what are you two talking about? All friends and co-workers and so on. Zinnia and I used to spend a lot of time reminiscing about them. Eventually it became clear we were just telling the same stories over and over. So, we simplified it to just names. Made a little game out of it. Whoever says no more, uh, no Norman McCrescent first, wins. Okay. See you around, Lola. Or Iola. Okay. Car shaped pile of rust. We need 15 cobalt for this one. Whoa! Who knew Ford made a Model T limousine? Wander down the country road looking for some place you belong? Take me home. Uh, well, let's go to the Gilmore thing. Oh, ho, Gabby heard about a place to see a witching well. Do you mean a wishing well? No different. 
Cabby friend dropped her hand back into that and it returned black containing fire and screamed. What? Location unlocked. The hellhole. Continue your way. Okay, so this is the old Gilmore place. Nature's body is being violently extracted by this monstrous machine. There's a page of what appears to be a diary tag to this tree. Read. Dorothy keeps giving me socks with holes in them. She can possibly be trying to humiliate me deliberately, deliberately but it's far too consistent to be random chance. What is this? An old block shirt is leaning against the tree. I'll take it. We got an item. Old block shirt. The door says Belgrand Bombproof Shelter Co. and has a serious combination lock on it. No bomb's gonna guess this one. Except the dials. I have no free clue. Okay. Nine reps. You can do it. Okay, so this is the doll house. Hello, doll. An anime doll doing a workout routine? I'm sure it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay. You've done more than nine reps, doll. Okay. A door size bell. Workout. Yes, yes. Working it, working it. Okay. Nothing here. There's a loose page from a diary. Edith's violin is too loud for me to relax at night, but if I take it away, she screeches horribly. I wonder if I can find her a smaller one. Hmm. Door parts. It's a bunch of creepy glass eyes. Okay. There's a book of children's horror story on this man, this childless man's table. Maybe it's for the dolls, or maybe it's for you. You got an item. Scary stories for spooky children. Uh, grants an upgradable skill. Nightmare alloy. Gives spooky armor. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna increase the things. Okay, no more. Doll parts. Horrible little mouths. Nine pages, that's good progress. Okay, this all walk and no play makes eight pages a day. This doll is scratching out gibberish on a tiny sheet of paper. This tiny radio produces a tiny sound. Page of someone's diary here. Masquerade Velma's mechanism, so she squealed the toothpaste from the end of the tube instead of the middle. Losing a fortune in wasted pace. Brought for three minutes. You see? The sink is currently occupied by a creepy talking doll exposing the value of good hygiene. Look past it in the mirror. Now we're good. Oh, we can fish here. Okay, that doll over there is going bananas. There's a... What is that? I think we can... We can do something in the toilet. Okay, we got everything. One of those newfangled plastic-handed toilet brushes you've read about in the papers. Take it. Newfangled to toilet brush. It deals your muscle plus six stench damage. Causes three poison. Huh. Handful of dirty water. Soggy use bandage. Flush. Always flush. Curtis flush. Something's defective with Ruth. She's doing twice as much of everything as she ought to be. I must have gotten her gear ratios uh, wrong. Okay. Four eggs or... Uh, this one is going bananas. Oh, crap! Someone has painted a page from the diary to the wall here. I'm stuck in a rut. Every day is the same routine. Eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, work on my novel, go to bed. Over and over, always the same. I thought the dolls would help, but they've only made things worse. feel like I might go crazy. In fact, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I'll start right now. Weird. Okay, we got a Fruzier pop. Simple cutboard. See if it's better. Oh, stop throwing things at me. You got an item. Box of Wofford corn cereal. Now it is indeed bear. No. 
Stop throwing things. Oh, we got the counterclockwise mainspring. Counterclockwise main. This is the thing I needed. You got junk mail, paper clip. Okay, no. no. Stop throwing things at me. Throwing things. Always get eight hours of sleep. Doll size chemistry set. This door is playing the violin in a way that makes sleep unimaginable. Okay, let's read this. I don't feel well. I think Gladys put something in my coffee. Well, if her name is Gladys, not just X, like she always does, accidentally. I believe this was purposeful. Perhaps I shouldn't have based their mechanisms on the strange old doll I found. Grace. I wonder where she went. Oh my god, why do dolls even need hearts? This is just pointlessly creepy. Ru uh, rubber rubber plant. One of the dolls must be allergic to real rubber plants. Weird. Oh, there was a pond there, you see? This is a dresser. Address it. Hello, dresser. All pants. The shirts must be in a different closet. You only need two socks at a time. Mm-hmm. Okay, read this. Abigail loosened the pins on my barbell, nearly dropped it on my head. She's definitely trying to kill me. I think they all are. Hellstrom can have the house and main property going into hiding. First, I'm going to tag these pages all over the house to make it clear that I am insane. And then I'm going to go live in my bomb shelter. Scratch that, it's a doll shelter now. Hmm. Just doll arms. Dozens of little uh, awful arms. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think I know how to get the combination. Because you see every doll is saying a number. This is working out. Let's see. And the page says something about the violin. Let's just write this down. So, violin. And uh, the violin. Because I need to follow some sort of, you know, like, order. She's saying eight. Then... Uh, I don't feel well. I think Gladys put something in my coffee, not just eggs. So this is kitchen. Mm. So you see now we go to the kitchen. And she says four. And now we go... Stuck in a rut, every day is the same routine, eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, welcome my novel, go to bed, over and over, always the same. I thought that those would help, but they only made things worse. Uh, eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, work on my novel, go to bed. This is the key. You see? Eat. So it is. We're just gonna write it down. No, I'm, I can come back here. I'm just gonna go and get the the numbers from every doll. So this is right. It says eight pages a day. And workout. It's nine. And brush, it's three, and I think we need one more.
Yeah. Socks. It's two. Because I remember it was like six digits. So let's see. Eat breakfast is the first one. So this is the first one. Uh, get dressed. So the socks is two. Brush my teeth. This is the third one. Exercise is the workout. This is the fourth one. Work on my novel. This is the fifth one. And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes up to the fire. And I will sing your cares away. So let me take you back to Paris.